Yep, this sucks. Look, <laughs> simple as that. Mainly lower line areas. You can see how thin the beans look here until you get kind of out of here. How much nicer they look up there. Yeah, that make it like, I forget how long ago that frost was now. Um, I forget how long ago it was, but a couple places look perfect. But then kind of get more to, towards this area. There's a couple spots up there too, but get more towards this lower area here. Yeah, it's it's thin. <laughs> it's thin. So, gonna see what I can do here. We're just kind of, I mean, there's some plants growing. I know we're gonna rough up a couple of the healthy plants. It's the way it's gonna be. Gonna rough up some of them. Just can't be helped. I mean, the low spots too, those are the first stuff to really germinate when we seeded because there was more moisture down here versus a lot of the other areas. This had a little more consistent germination, so that's why it's like wiped out here. So, so we got enough seed to do, a, you know, close, probably close to, well, population-wise, we're just under 100,000 shooting for. Like I say, there's some good plants places, some there's not, and kind of getting the best of both worlds, you know, trying to get something worthwhile here getting late too, getting late enough for those beans to plant beans. Some of the best cropland is right here <laughs> and then the next field I have to do. It's like, oh, well, we could have just maybe put a hay crop in here, but it's just like insurance is going to help cover a little bit and also the seed company as well is reimbursing a lot too, so really, you know, if it all works out, um, it should cost little to nothing for us just to pretty much fuel and time is pretty much what it's going to cost us to put this seed back in the ground so which is a pretty big help so yeah we're not the only ones doing some replanting there's a couple guys I've talked to that are planting actually the guy we buy our soybean seed from he's replanting a few acres Oh, there's a neighbor that has some land by us. He's doing about a few hundred acres. He had some. They, they had a couple bean fields seeded earlier than we did, and uh, those things are completely wiped out. Um, it was kind of spotty, like you know. Then I had then we had some other fields that were seeded seeded like a day or two later, and they're fine, but they're in different parts though. One's further north, one's further west of the farm, and. Depends on, on where you're at and, and where where the where it got colder, I guess. And then there's stuff over by Jamestown, then north of Jamestown. Heard a few fields were just completely wiped out there from the frost. So I know one of my viewers said they were replanting soybeans too. Commented a while back over on the eastern side of the state here. It was kind of widespread, but at the same time, not really. Just kind of where it hit. I'd rather, would have much have rather used the drill. The drill is so much easier. However, this thing is a lot easier to get hooked up out of the shed, set up. You know, it's a lot quicker. The drill, you have to pull out, hook everything back up again, and uh, I guess didn't wouldn't have to calibrate anything, just dump the seed in and go, because everything's still set for beans yet, really, so. But this thing is just a lot was quicker to hook up and be on my way here. I think it's doing a good job. I've never seeded soybeans with this planter yet, so first time for everything. You might be thinking, well, why don't we seed soybeans with this thing? A, the drill is easier, much easier. B, more capacity. You can go a lot longer and cover more ground and go. Actually, a little bit faster, too. Three, fertilizer. This thing has got no fertilizer option on it right now, so. There's that. I mean, it would, I mean, our drill does a really good job at soybeans. It, you know, it, it does a good job. You know, so, we just prefer to use, do the soybeans at the drill. 
I got a bit to see here on this side. Kind of just, just seeing where it's thin and going as far as I need to go then. So it's been fairly thin here for a while, so. <laughs> uh. I've never had to replant. Well, I guess we've replanted alfalfa before. Reseeded, I should say, not replant, reseeded. Yeah, same thing, tomato, tomato, potato, potato, potato. But I've never actually had to, in my life, anyways, I've never had to replant anything like this for our crops like this. I've, I've never had to do anything like this before. Oh. Trying year. For the small amount of acres we have, you know, trying to make every acre as profitable as we can. I mean, we're, we're pretty much running on, um, uh, I forget what the total amount of rain we've had. Rain itself this year. I don't know, it was maybe close to three inches. Maybe at most. Maybe it's more like two and a half inches. But, you know, you know let's just say two and a half inches of rain and then say uh, about uh, maybe a foot of snow total since January, I mean, ugh. that ain't enough moisture for anything, that's, that's, that's pretty bad, we're grateful for the moisture we have right now that we did get, that's made a tremendous difference, but man, it's, uh, I say, it's a bit nerve-wracking out there, it's amazing, I was in Bismarck yesterday too, there was actually some fields blowing yet. It was really windy yesterday. At least it was cooler, but still really windy. And, uh, boy, there are some fields blowing out. It's just amazing. You're pretty much in the middle of June, and you just still see fields that are brown yet. Just dirt. Stubble. thin here for this low spot that's really thin ground actually feels not too bad here either it's just thin they want to get out of it you can see the row is pretty good there where it gets out of this low spot it gets pretty healthy then <clears throat> Yep, there's a bean right there. That's that's not bad. That's that's pretty good. Right where he's at, that's pretty good. Inch to inch and a half, and there's moisture right here, so want want I'm trying to get them a little shallower so that they come up quicker and they'll kind of hopefully catch up a little bit. Then I mean they're still gonna be behind, but they'll catch up a little bit and get those pods going since there is moisture here in these in these low spots. There's moisture down here. So, these beans will have a chance. The beans that are here are late to come up because they had a little bit more, it took them a little bit longer to get pushed out of the ground. They survived, the ones that came out of the ground first. Yep, and then that explains a lot right up here on the edge of the field here. It's pretty low here too, and that, that explains a lot here. I mean, there's just no, there's nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing there. You can see how it then it gets better as you get up there then. Then you can see the rows up there. Hey, this doesn't have to be perfect perfect, but close enough will do. And I forgot to mention too, the some of the corn got hit too as well, low spots turned. Luckily it wasn't far enough along the corn that it uh it recovered right now. We can see it's it's still growing yet. So one of the oops, wrong one. One of the um, adjusters. Well, he used to he used to farm. He retired farming now. He's insurance now. But um, he said if the corn 
it was, had like five leaves and below the growing point was still below ground yet. It usually should be fine. But anything above five leaves, then it's like could be toast. So ours only had around three leaves or so, maybe four. But we went back and looked at it again with the other insurance adjuster and it and looks like the corn you can see the corn rows, the corns I mean, it used to look gray in the low spots for several days. Now you can see the rows again now that you know the corn recovered. Oh, oh just gotta put the thing away. That's dark over there. Storm's brewing. So I don't know which way what's heading where, but that's dark over there. Ooh. That temperature dropped about 10, 15 degrees in about two minutes right now. It feels really nice out right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> From the seed dealer. But uh, yeah. Good reminder of how much I don't like seed tenders. I don't like them. They're too clunky. Top heavy. I don't like them. It's a good one. I haven't had to use a seed tender in quite a few years. Not that we got the conveyor. I don't miss it. <laughs> I don't miss it. Yeah, it was south, and now it's north, whatever. It's weird, freaking clouds. Rotating around.